Hello and welcome to a brand new Canva tutorial for you. Today is going to be a far quicker one than what I usually share because I just wanted to share a really like quick snippet of a hack that I use almost every single day because it's so wildly helpful but I didn't know about it until maybe about a year ago. I'm not sure if it was a new feature if I just hadn't noticed it but either way it is incredible and so my preface is this is how it's going to help you. If you've ever needed to design a graphic and then you wanted to have like a portion of that design you wanted to save out of that design, like you wanted to have a little graphic you wanted to use on your website or you wanted to have a little graphic you wanted to save to your elements folder on your Canva or you wanted to have a little graphic you wanted to add over here to a different document and like you kind of just wanted to export one part of your design instead of doing the whole design. But to do that, you really just have to export the whole page in Canva. I've got a way to help you get one element or like a couple of elements and save that as a direct object rather than having to export the whole design as itself. So let's get into it. Now it's hard to explain how useful this is, but literally you, you, it's such a helpful thing just to know and have in the back of your mind as a business owner and as someone who's designing graphics on Canva. So I'm gonna show you what it is and then I'm gonna step you through a few more ways that I use it for myself. So what you can actually do inside Canva is say you've got a few different elements like this, but you wanted to export this as its own standalone object instead of out exporting this as a whole page as itself. You could export this as a whole page, but it's gonna have all this space over here, all this space over here, and it's gonna be a bit fiddly to kind of work with unless you kind of resize the design. But what size are you gonna resize this design to, it's going to take a while to resize it and it's going to be a whole finicky process. Whereas what you can actually do is grab your mouse and highlight every object that you want to export as its own particular item or you can even just press, um, click on an object and press and hold shift and then you can click on multiple objects will be selected so you can see I've selected all of those objects just as one object just by holding down shift on my keyboard while I clicked or again you can just use this select option. Then what I want you to do is right click. This is all you need to do. Right click and press download selection. Instead of going to the share option over here and pressing download, pressing download selection here and you, it opens up the share settings again, but it's only, as you can see in this little preview, it's only going to save that one little object element set that you've highlighted. And so I'm gonna select this as PNG. I often use a transparent background if I'm saving a one standalone image. Transparent backgrounds inside PNG images are only available, or transparent backgrounds at all, because they're only inside PNG images, is only available on Canva Pro rather than any other feature. So make sure you have Canva Pro if you wanna use this in particular. You can still download this as a normal image just without a transparent background if you don't need and no white in the background. Anyway, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna press download and then it's gonna download this one standalone image for me just by itself. And it is such, such a helpful tool. Now I've got one thing that I really need you to know about this. I'm gonna show you what this looks like just so that you can kind of get a bit of a preview of it. You can see it's got this plain old image, not got any of the extra space around the edge. This gray here represents transparent. It's just so easy to then go and forward and use. I'm gonna show you how I use this in a moment. But one question I often get asked or one question I often ask myself is what about if I just want to export one image? Like say I really like this little colorful blur and I want to export that by itself. If I right click on this, you'll see that it's not actually an option, option anymore. There's no option for me to download it by itself because it's not a selection because this tool that Canva has made here is for downloading selections of objects. So how can I do this? Well, there's two ways you can do it. Firstly is to press copy and paste and just overlay two things on top of each other directly. And now when I press, if I'm just gonna go to position and make sure it's totally centered. Now, if I right click on these two objects, I can press download selection and you can't actually tell that there's two objects there. Or you can even just get a rectangle. So I'm just gonna press R on my keyboard and put this rectangle here. I'm gonna pop it just on top of this design I'm gonna make sure that it's totally transparent. And now there's technically two objects there, but again, you can't see the second one. So I'm gonna right click now and you can see I've got download selection. So that's how you can kind of work around downloading just one object, but doing it twice, <laughs> having it as a selection as an available to download. So now I wanna show you how I use this. So one thing I'm doing at the moment is rebuilding my own website. So you can see over here, I've got a bit of a mock-up of my, my about page. Really, really great. But you can see throughout this, I've got little standalone clouds by themselves. I've got little circles and arrows by themselves. I've got little pictures of me and Polaroids by themselves. And you can see the one I've been working on here, this by itself. And so this is where I've used this design where I've just gone into Canva, made out the different elements I need on my website and then just selected them, downloaded them and been able to import them directly into my website rather than having to have like a whole page of the design and have this whole fiddly process. And so I hope that's something that's gonna be helpful for you to remember of just thinking about how can I actually just download an object by itself? Now you know your answer. So I hope that's been helpful. And if you want some more help with your actual designs and doing your own graphics, I actually have a free three-part video series called the Seriously in Business Challenge, where you can learn from me in really digestible chunks with really practical outcomes, really incredible Canva tips. And it's totally free, as I said. And you can get that at the link in the description and it'll just help you get through lots of the really foundational things around 
what on earth your brand should look like, how on earth to design good looking graphics that actually communicate and that help your business to grow. And so thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. If you've liked this video, please hit like. If there's any tutorials you'd like to see me do, pop a note in the comments and I will make sure I get to those. Um, and if you're liking my channel, please make sure to hit subscribe or even share it with your business buddies who are also designing in Canva and help them along by knowing that this channel exists. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.